Um, so Adam, what else in, should we be should we be thinking about as uh, as importers um, when it comes to comes to ACE? You know, I, I think we can go back to the original comment that I had in making sure that even if you're not with us, you're not you know just making sure it's done because you know that scramble that's going to happen even in March there's going to be one because people aren't going to be ready. In May, there's going to be one because people aren't going to be ready. And the reason they're not going to be ready, you can't 100% fault them for. Customs just continually push their deadlines back. And so we, we hear a lot of this, oh, it's never going to happen. Oh, they're going to keep delaying it. Oh, they're going to, oh, they're going to. And so we hear that so much. And I think that's caused a lot of people to hear it too much. A lot of people to always think that's not going to be a problem. Um, Inside of an executive order, it actually says December 2016 is the end all be all. It is the single window approach that ACE is, is done. And so that sits at that magic day. So at some point we can't go any farther out. You know, what customs try to do is give themselves a year to work into it. And because so many people in the trade haven't been ready, they're continually eating into their window to fix problems. And so all that does is it keeps pushing out what customs calls non-core functionality farther and farther and farther out down the line. You know, I worked specifically on the e-bond and e-bond came out. You know, we had stuff pushed out almost a full year after e-bond went live because it wasn't considered core. You know, and so we're still seeing that today. Well, we need this functionality or we need that functionality inside of ACE as they're transitioning systems. And customs comment as well, it's not going to stop the release of cargo, therefore it's not core, we're going to push it out farther. So what we're already seeing is, you know, as more and more people get involved in it, you know, customs didn't catch everything. There weren't a ton of pilot participants, you know. Early, early on, there was four or five of the largest brokers, and that was the only pilots. And so they have a different way of doing stuff than medium-sized, than small, than very small brokers. And so as customs continues to get into this and realize that, you know, cargo moves in bond, cargo moves just to the port, cargo transits the country. There are more and more things that customs is starting to see inside of the program, and they're realizing that we miss something. And so the faster we get on board, the faster we can get those we miss somethings resolved rather than pushing them out farther and farther and farther down the line. 